Hey, what's going on? Today we are making pulled pork nachos, and I've got the pork butt on the smoker right now, rolling some smoke. What I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke this overnight, and then in the morning I will pull it, throw it in a wrap it, throw it in a cooler. I'll take it over to my father-in-law's house, and he's actually going to be making the uh, the nachos. But for this video, we're focusing just on the pork butt, getting that pulled pork. Let's get into this cook. Okay, so today we're using Heath Riles pork injection. I'm gonna use a half a cup to 24 ounces of apple juice. Now, normally I use only a quarter cup to 12 ounces of apple juice, but I planned on two butts, ended up only smoking one, so I kind of wasted some, but that's okay. Okay, let's get this fire going. So I'm using Jealous Devil briquettes, the extra large ones, and uh, I do this pattern because I've found that it just burns for a really long time. I haven't just dumped them in to see how long it burns, but these burn for 17 hours between 240 to 250 degrees. All right, now that we've got the charcoal all set up, let's go ahead and get our eight and a half pound pork butt out. And we're gonna go ahead and get it all seasoned up. That way, um, while we're getting the fire going, the pork butt can be sweating. All right, so I went ahead and got the butt all trimmed up. I didn't go crazy with it. Um, I just took off what I didn't like. Um, we're gonna go ahead and throw some mustard on for our binder. I'm not going in just crazy with this. I just wanna get some on there. Flip this over. Alrighty, I'm gonna call that good. And on my clean hand, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this fat side done first. Uh, today I'm using Holy Cow, uh, the barbecue rub. probably all up in the light sorry it is about let's see here it is right at 11 o'clock at night I'm gonna try to get this butt on by 12 and then I'm gonna pull it off in the morning and we are gonna actually turn this butt into some pulled pork nachos which I am really looking forward to all right so we went ahead and said go got the fat side done all the edges let me go ahead and get the cherry all right and I'm also using Heath Riles cherry rub this is the first time that I've used the cherry rub and uh, I'm really looking forward to it heard lots of really good things about it and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm laying this cherry rub on pretty heavy Hit the sides. Hands. This other side. And this other end. Alright. Go ahead and I'm gonna just pat that in. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little more holy cow. All right, flipping her over. And you know what? I wish I would have done. It's the whole purpose of having this. Let me get this up off out the pan. I'm gonna put my rack up here. There we go. Now I shouldn't have to touch mess up my rub anymore. All right, back to the holy cow. This is the top side. I am going to be cooking meat side down. There's my holy cow. And then also the cherry rub. Ooh. Pat that down. Now 
Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this sit out and uh, let that butt start to sweat. It is summertime. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our charcoal all lit up. Um, what I've done here is, you see I've done the circular pattern with my charcoal. And I went ahead and I have a fire starter underneath and I'm going to go ahead and get it lit up. And then I'm going to set my charcoal right on top of it and let her burn. <laughs> These bugs, they're attacking me. But the fire has now died down. The coals are this white um, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to lift my coal basket up, take my grate off, drop it down into the drum. I'm going to go ahead and place my wood chunks on there. All right, go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and just get one kind of sitting right there. like a more open spot there we go all right and then i'm just going to put a few and i'm not using very big ones and what i'm using is cherry i'm going to use some cherry and then i'm also going to use some pecan all right, all right i'm going to go ahead and get my deflector plate in here drop it down in here set it down and then I'm going to shut my lid. I've got both my intake and my outtake open fully and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get my uh, my probe in there so that I can see what the temperatures are at and once it gets up to about 225 I'm going to start dialing my intake back. I want to run um, around 225 to 250 overnight and so I'll kick this back and uh, get it to set in place and I won't throw my pork butt on there until my temperature is settled out and I'm running really clean. Okay so the temperature is starting to rise. The smoke is still dirty but that's okay. It'll take about 45 minutes to an hour um, for the temperature to come up and the smoke to clean up. All right, it's now at 223. The smoke is starting to clean up. I'm gonna go ahead and dial my intake back. All right, now that this butt is all sweaty, we can go ahead and get ready for our pork injection. All right, I went ahead and got our pork injection here uh, mixed up. What I did is I used a half a cup of the injection mix to about 24 ounces, is a little less than 24 ounces of apple juice. I've got it shaken up here, and we're gonna go ahead and start getting this injected. I'll go ahead and finish getting this injected and as soon as I have it all injected I'm hoping our uh, smoker is going to be up to temp Franco and then we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy on there all right we're going to go ahead and get our butt on the smoke is cleared up and our temp is up we're going to go ahead and get this butt I bought this today in hopes that hopefully this pan will sit there and it will awesome I haven't even tested it yet. Probably should have been the first thing I did. All right, so we're gonna get this butt right on here. We're gonna get this shut back down. I don't wanna leave it up too much and get our temperatures crazy. As of right now, I've got this sitting about right around the uh, between the one and the zero, closer to the one. And uh, I'll adjust it for there. The first hour is kind of my adjusting time. And uh, once that hour's up, 
and I get it dialed in, it usually sits there um, for several hours and I don't have to mess with it. I'll have my ink bird um, set up to trigger me if my temps get out of whack throughout the night. This first hour is going pretty smooth. Just kind of sitting around watching the frogs eat all these bugs that keep attacking me. Thank you, Mr. Frog. All right, it's been an hour and I have got the smoker sitting at, uh, let's see here, it's like 243. I've got this sitting at the one. Let me see if I can get a better view for you. Sorry, I'm using my selfie camera right now. And uh, we're just gonna let it keep rolling until that internal temp shows about 165. I am about to put that probe in. Man, these bugs. I am about to put that probe into the meat uh, so we can start tracking that. All right, it has been six hours and let's open this thing up and see what we are looking like. Look at that. That's a thingy beauty. That's my ink bird. He's open the lid to temp drop. That looks really good. I have not spritzed one time. I decided I was going to sleep instead of wake up and keep spritzing. So I have not spritzed this thing one time. That bark looks good. Everything's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off of here. Get this thing wrapped up and then put back on here. My internal temp is at 159 right now. 159. Now, before I go ahead and pull this, I am going to go ahead and I am going to spritz before I wrap. I'll go ahead and get this thing wrapped up and put back on here. All right. It, like I said, it's been six hours of cook time. The Bronco's been running for seven hours. This is what our coals are looking like right here. Seven hours. All right. Go ahead and I'm going to leave the coals just like they are. I'm not going to add anything. And I'm going to get this pork butt back on here. Alright, so we added our holy cow. And added a little bit of cherry rub to this. Let's go ahead and get this thing on the foil. I'm going to just let it flop right off this rack here. And it's centered up on my foil. All right. All right, we'll get this butt wrapped up. I'm going to wrap this thing in foil really tight. All right, now before I did fully wrap it, I created this boat and I'm taking what I had for my uh, spray bottle, the apple juice. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pour this in. Right on top. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish wrapping this thing up real tight. Alright. Butt's nice and wrapped up. I'll go ahead and get it over here to the Bronco. Go 
There we go, back on. Gotta get that lid shut back down. Now, one thing is earlier when I left the lid open to check my charcoal, I left it open for a while, which allowed those flames to kick up. It wasn't very long that I had it open, but they did kick up. So, I've gone ahead and I'm dialing this back um, pretty far because this thing is going to skyrocket. It's going to get up probably around 260. And I need to get that backed down. Um, like I said, I wanted to make this cook from 225 to 250. And for the most part of this cook, it has been between 240 and 250. Um, right there at the very, the very first hour, there was very little time that it was below 240. But after that first hour, it has been 240 to 250 the whole way. And really, that not even in the 10 degree, it's been, it was really uh, just a few degrees set around 245 most of the time. Let's see, I was talking about when I had that lid open, those flames kicked up, and so now it's running a little hotter. So I'll get it back down. Um, to 250 and we'll run 250 the rest of the the rest of the way Alrighty, it's been about 25 minutes since I last um, Told you that I was gonna try to get that temp down um, I went ahead and got this adjusted a little more I'm sitting back at the one and uh, Got this temp back down in the 240s I did bring it all the way down to about 235 and I slowly brought it back up and now it's sitting right there, it's sitting around between the 241 and 243 uh, is where it's sitting at. Um, so I've got that all adjusted out, now it's time to sit back and relax. Alright it's been 10 hours, the internal temp is showing 202, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check for probe tender and see where this is at. Let's take a look. All right, so our ambient temperature is showing about 234, and the internal's 202, like I said. This is where my setting is setting right now. I had to open it up a little just to kind of maintain that temp, probably because my charcoal is starting to run out. like it is probe tender I'll go ahead and get this pulled off wrapped up and let it rest all right this is what is left after 10 hours I'm gonna go ahead and put my deflector plate back down on here and let's just see how long this jealous devil extra large briquette, briquettes are gonna burn and I'll keep it within that 240 to 250 range All right, the pork butt has rested. I am gonna go ahead and get this all shredded up um, It is so tender. It's literally falling apart uh, The yeah, it'd Be okay. It's uh, geez really hot still So I'm gonna use my claws I typically do it with my hands, but I'm gonna get this thing broken up and just get it shredded. Ooh, it's too hot to hold, but I am gonna get a pie. That's good. That is like really, really good. 
All right, we'll take a look um, at this once I get it all shredded up, and I'll give you either some video or some photos of the nachos tonight. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and get to smoking.